Hello everybody, Die Hard Sports Car Collector here coming at you today with a brand new video. If you guys like Pokemon cards, this video is for you. Today I have a PSA uh, return that are all Pokemon cards. Actually this, this took a long time to get these cards back. I don't think PSA is really focusing on Pokemon cards at the time. Seems like their main focus is ultra modern cards followed by modern cards and then finally all of the TCG cards but uh, this submission was definitely um, long due to come back so we're very happy to have it back it's a lot of rare Pokemon cards in here um, I don't know too much about Pokemon but I knew I do know we do have some first edition Pokemon cards in this submission return okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the reveal I think that this order had 47 cards in it and these are pretty cool. My daughter, she likes Pokemon cards, so she had a real good time looking at these. So this first one is from 1999, so that one is pretty, pretty old. So we got a Gengar Hollow that got a PSA 8. Actually not a bad grade. These Pokemon cards uh, tend to be very, very sensitive. And I'm just thinking about... Um, the card that John Paul recently purchased that Pikachu Illustrator um, I think he paid over five million for it so it was the only PSA 10 in existence so that was a very very huge sell very huge sell for the hobby alright guys here's the second card here we have another 1999 uh, Pokemon card it is a Raichu they got a PSA 8 they call it this a hollow that's the back of it there alright here's our next card we have another 1999 Pokemon Fossil Magneton Hollow they got a PSA 8 still not, not very bad uh, near mint condition again these cards are very very hard to keep in good shape you know a lot of kids was young around that time and they just you know had the cars out of the sleeves and out of the pack they probably played around with them so yeah these cars are definitely um, hard to get in gym mint so we got another 1999 Pokemon game Mewtwo Hollow um, this one got a PSA 7 All right, here's our next card another 1999 Pokemon game Machap Hollow first edition Wow, Shadow listed. They got a PSA 5. So, definitely see a lot of scratch marks, a lot of surface marks on this card. Um, it's still good to get them graded because just by them being in the slab, it's being authenticated by PSA. So, there's no question um, to whether they're authentic or not. Here's the next card here. Got another 1999. We got a Lapras Hollow. They got a PSA 6. And again, I'm just giving these a quick glance over, see if I see any um, obvious condition issues. Um, the main thing I see, it does have a back corner on the back down there and also some surface scratch marks. Alright, on to our next card. We have a 1999 Pokemon game, um, Gyarados Hollow. They got a PSA 9. That's actually a really good grade for this card. Very good grade. So this one is in mint condition. All right, look at the year on this one, 1997. Japanese Rocket Rainbow Energy Hollow. It's a very looking card. You can see the Japanese writing on this one here. So it's got to be a pretty rare card. And this one got a PSA 8, so definitely not a bad grade and this one has a different back to it the pocket monsters okay this one here's from 1999 pocket monsters Japanese gym uh, Erica's Venusaur hollow it got a this one got a PSA 3 so that is a pretty low grade for this card 
one of us has some kind of crease yeah, it's definitely something definitely wrong with this one but that's still a pretty cool card don't see too many of these Japanese versions of these Pokemon cards floating around here's our next one we got a 1996 Japanese basic polyrath hollow this is a pretty old card it got a PSA 6 there's the back of that one alright we have a 1997 Japanese fossil Mew hollow it got a PSA 4 and it has an MK qualifier on here I forget what the MK mean maybe I have to look that one up alright here's the next one we got a 1997 Dragon Knight they got a PSA 7 very very nice looking card and again it's from the Pocket Monster set alright here's our next one my daughter really really liked this one this is a 1999 Japanese promo Mew. Definitely a hollow. Look at the shine on this one here. Very nice card. Um, we got a PSA 6. I do see a mark at the, the bottom here. I don't know what that, that uh, line is. I don't know if that's a crease maybe. For the grade so low. And then the corners, the back corners have some edge wear on there. Alright, on to our next card here. We have a 1999 uh, Japanese promo Slow King. Um, this is definitely another hollow. You can see the refraction on here. This one got a PSA 8. Very uh, very decent grade. Here's our next one. We have a 1997 um, Articuno hollow. They got a PSA 9. Another Japanese version here. Alright, here's our next card. We got a 1998 Japanese Tamamushi Erika's Vile Plume PSA 4. Guys, I know some of these cards have to be rare. We got some Pokemon views. You guys might be able to. Um, to chime in and comment and give me a little bit more information about these alright here's my next one we got a 1997 Ditto Hollow they got a PSA 9 very good grade on that one you know this customer will be very happy to see that grade and this might be one of the best cards out of the whole submission this is a 1999 Japanese Giovanni Pokemon card that got a PSA 10. I don't know what the value of this one would be, but being from 1999, I'm assuming this one is pretty rare. And it's also the Japanese version. So this could be the biggest card of the submission. Alright, on to the next card. We have a 1999 Japanese um, gem. A Makonis do, uh, Dudo. I remember seeing an episode with this Pokemon on there. And it got a PSA 8. Here's the next card. We got a 1999 Kojas B Drill Hollow. They got a PSA 9. Again, that's a very good grade for an older card. Alright, we got a 1999 Pokemon Jungle Scyther Hollow. Got a PSA 6. It's one of the ones that my daughter uh, really recognized. But her favorite, one of her favorite ones is in here, and uh, we're going to be coming up to that card pretty soon. Alright, we're going to go on to the next card here. This is a 1999 Pokemon Jungle. Flareon Hollow. They got a PSA 8. Very nice card. 
we have a 1999 Japanese Giovanni's um, Needle King Hollow. They got a PSA 8. We have a 1998 Pokemon Japanese Misty Gyarados Hollow. They got a PSA 8. We got a 1999 Japanese Giovanni's Persian Hollow. They got a PSA 8. We got a 1999 Japanese Jim Blaine's Moltres Hollow. They got a PSA 8. Very, very nice card right there. Okay, here's a Chansey from 1996. Japanese Basic Hollow. They got a PSA 6. Again, that's one of my daughter's favorite characters. She loves Chansey. We got a 1997 Japanese Rocket Dark Gobot Hollow. They got a PSA 5. All right, we got a 1999 Hitmochan Hollow Shadowless. They got a PSA 7. It's got the regular Pokemon back on that one. Here's a 1999 um, Kabutops Hollow. They got a PSA 7. We have a 1999 Aerodactyl Hollow. They got a PSA 8. So all these cards are from either 1999 or older. We have another 1999 Pokemon Jungle Needle Queen Hollow. They got a PSA 7. We have a 1999 um, Clefairy Hollow. They got a PSA 5. Another one of the ones that my daughter likes. Okay, we got a 1999 um, Articuno Hollow. They got a PSA 6. I think this was his second one he uh, sent in. Look at this one. We got a 1999 Vileplume Hollow First Edition. They got a PSA 7. So from what I hear, the first edition are the most rarest cards to find. I think you got to look at this star. I'll go about that little star down there. I think that's what somebody told me. So that's a very nice vile plume. All right, we have a 1999 Ditto Hollow. They got a PSA 8. We got a 1999 Polyrath Hollow. They got a PSA 7. Yeah, we do see some white on a um, few of these corners here. We got a 1999 Pokemon Fossil Moltres Hollow. They got a PSA 8. Here's a 1999 Zapdos Hollow. They got a PSA 8. Yeah, you see a lot of S right at the top of this one. So they might have been kind of generous on that one right there. We got some pretty good edge wear on it. Okay, we got a 1999 Haunter Hollow. They got a PSA 7. Let's check the back. Again, we got more top edge wear on here and a little bit of white on the corners. Here's a 1999 Hitmonlee Hollow. They got a PSA 8. This one don't look as bad on the back. And here's my daughter. My daughter's favorite one out of this submission. She's actually interested in buying this one here. We have a 1999 Japanese promo. Tokopi. They got a PSA 7. Yeah, my daughter, by the way, she's not young. My daughter is almost 22, so she's old enough to um, 
buy stuff that she wants to have. So there we go on that one. All right, here's my next card. Uh, 1999 Electro Hollow. This is another first edition. They got a PSA 7. You can just tell by the um, the drawings and stuff that these are older Pokemon cards. All right, we got a 1999 Magneton Hollow. They got a PSA 6. I see a lot of scratches on the um, the Hollow surface area here and we flip it over to the back it's got some edge wear and some corner wear there that's probably why I got a six this one here looks pretty cool this is a 1997 dark duck trio hollow they got a PSA 8 look at those fellas they look pretty angry and everything's in the Japanese writing here um, the back does have that little one spot there. Other than that, this is a pretty clean looking card. Alright, we got a couple more here. We got a Clef, Clef Fable Hollow PSA 7 from 1999. Again, more, more edge wear and some white on the corners on that card. Here's going to be the last card, 1999 Muck Hollow, got a PSA 6. Oh yeah, you can see that got some pretty heavy edge right at the top there. I keep a lot of these cards from Jim in that blue background and those uh, white short on those corners and edges. Right guys, that is it for this submission reveal. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, my daughter, she's uh, very interested in Pokemon cards. Um, I might actually send some of her cards that she has to PSA. Um, she did pull a Pikachu out of a cereal box. So um, I know that one's definitely rare. So I definitely will include that into my next um, PSA submission. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is going to be the end of this video. It's going to be peace out from Dow Hall Sports Car Collector.